Hello guys and welcome to another beautiful yin yoga class with myself, Matt. And today's class is just a short 20 minute class. It's a class to reduce anxiety. And for those of you who have noticed that anxiety a lot of times is the fear of an outcome that hasn't happened yet. So by living in that fear, we are actually damaging our own selves, creating a lot of stress, cortisol, and we have a hard time dealing with all of those emotions that are arising internally. So today we're going to work on living in the present, not worrying about the future, and reducing anxiety by using the beautiful practice of yin yoga. So for today's class, all you need is a yoga mat, and we're going to start in butterfly position, bringing the sole of our feet together in front of us, allowing our knees to drop down on both sides, placing our hands on the floor. We're going to slow down our breathing, big inhale, exhale, walking your fingertips forward, bending at the waist, and then holding stillness right here. As we recenter ourselves internally, and instead of thinking today, throughout the class, I'm going to ask you to just be aware instead of your surroundings. If you're outdoor, you can listen to the sound of the wind. For myself right now, it's the wind and the waves behind me. And just kind of shifting from thinking to feeling, hearing, being more present and grounded in today's practice. So every time you catch yourself or your mind wandering around and thinking about stuff, bring it back to feeling your breath, maybe paying attention to different parts of your body, scanning from head to toe, feeling any type of tension in your body dissolving from the practice. And spending less time in your head and more time in the present moment will lower your anxiety tremendously. So from here I'm going to invite you to Bring your legs around, coming onto your knees, bringing your knees wide. We're going to go into frog pose. So with your toes pointing, pointing outward here, we're going to place our hands on the floor, big inhale, exhale, lowering your soles on your forearms and moving your hips back until you feel that tight spot, finding stillness here and reconnecting with your breath. One might, you might want to flare your elbows down and bring your forehead to rest on the floor on top of your hands here. And I'm going to invite you to push yourselves up, bringing your knees back in. We're going to turn around facing the front of our yoga mat. So from here, we're going to take one big inhale. 
exhale bringing the left knee behind the left wrist and then extending the right leg back opening up our shin towards the front of our yoga mat and lowering ourselves down on our forearms here for the sleeping swan position so you should feel a lot of stretching in your left glute here can push ourselves up very gently releasing the left leg coming back onto all fours here you might want to take just a little moment to maybe wiggle your hips around loosening them up taking the time to reset and from here we're going to bring the right knee behind the right wrist using the left hand to move the right chin forward, stretching out the left leg behind. Big inhale, exhale, lowering yourselves down onto your forearms and reconnecting with your breath here. So you should notice how focusing on your breath and just enjoying the practice, being grounded in the present moment, makes you forget about all sort of worries, any kind of potential bad outcome of any situations, and just being happy with yourself. Sometimes you can find happiness in something as simple as being in peace and grounded within yourself.
so we can push ourselves up again releasing the right leg and I'm gonna invite you to just spin your legs around coming back onto your glutes here opening up the flesh of your glutes on both sides with your legs straight in front of you so from here we're gonna take one big inhale and on the exhale we're gonna walk our fingertips forward bending at the waist going into a nice hamstring stretch here rounding the spine and bring your chin to your chest here. And we can release the position, lowering ourselves down onto our backs here. And we can take a few breaths again, enjoying the rebound effect of the posture. For me, I'm enjoying this beautiful sun on my skin, getting plenty of vitamin D. It feels amazing with the fresh breeze of the, the wind here. And when you guys are ready, we're going to go into half happy baby. So the left leg will be straight in front of us. The right knee will come in. We're going to grab the exterior edge of the right foot. And we're going to pull that right knee down towards the ground. So this is really good to open up the left hip flexor as we work internally in the groin area of the right hip. So I've started enjoying half happy baby because it's kind of a two for one. The straight leg uh, on the other side allows for some release of the tightness and the hip flexors. So I really like this. And let me know in the comment section how you enjoy it for yourself. And we can release the right leg, extending it in front of us. Again, taking a few breaths here to reset as we're gonna be making our way to the left leg very shortly. So from here, we're gonna bring the left knee in, holding on to the exterior, exterior edge, sorry, of the left foot. We're gonna pull that left leg in, keeping the right leg extended. 
and just finding some stillness here. You might notice one side is tighter than the other. For me, this side is much tighter, so it's a little harder to, to do, but just find your edge, respect the limitations of your own body, and just enjoy how it feels. And we can slowly release the left leg, bringing that leg in front of us. And from here, I'm just gonna invite you to take some place on your yoga mat. We're gonna go into Savasana. Really letting go of any control that we're trying to exercise over our muscles, over our mind, surrounding to the power of gravity and enjoying the moment. Oh. 